In a previous video, we learned how to connect with the SSH. And uh, in this video, we will learn how to permit the root to log in because th this is disabled by default in FreeBSD. This is a matter of taste, of course. Some people like to have this not permitted and some like to have it permitted. So we go to our FreeBSD server and we need to edit the sshd configuration file and I'm going to use the vi editor, you can use the editor you prefer so I'm going to use v and then I'm going to look for etc uh, sshd under let's see ssh it's, it should be under and it's sshd underscore config which is the file we are looking for so this is the one we want to edit and I'm going to search for um, uh, something that begins with permit root and it has a caption in permit root and in v, uh, in v editor you can make a forward slash when you in command mode to begin to search and press return and then we were arriving here which is correct if you want to permit root login, first of all, you need to remove the hash mark. And you might ask, as uh, beginners might ask, why do we remove, need to remove the hash mark? Hash mark are normally, as I, are normally a way to uncomment something, uh, to comment out something. So comments that shouldn't be interpreted as command or settings are normally beginning with hash mark. And you can remove this, so this setting will apply here. And then you see uh, the no, we need to replace this with the yes. This should do the trick. Permit root login and yes. And don't forget to, to remove the hash mark. I write this file. And now the next step we need to do is to restart the SSH daemon. This is done by going to etc rc.d sshd restart and uh, this should do the trick then. Let's see we can start from uh, we can go to Ubuntu. I wonder if I remember this password on this machine I did. Okay so what we can do now is instead of typing this username we can try wrote And it worked perfectly. Else that wouldn't be possible because uh, it's not permitted by default to log in as root. So that's how you do it. Wasn't too hard, right? And in the next lesson we will look at the SFTP. Which makes our, us able to send files and receive files remotely from the server with the secure shell. Alright, so thank you for watching and let's proceed to the next video.